All right, guys, uh, let's start our class. Uh, we are going to begin with Xcode. Uh, I'm, losing, I'm using the latest version of Xcode, which is version 9, and uh, latest version of uh, OS X, which is High Sierra. Right, so let's open my Xcode. Then I'm going to say a new project. And let me move the window here so you can see it. And then we need to resize it. All right. So I'm going to open uh, create a, for iOS. Uh, it's going to be a single view application. Click next. I'm going to call this um, just app. You can call it whatever you want. We are now going to have our organization name if you are registered with uh, Apple as developer you can put uh, here your organization name your theme actually the organization name can be your domain usually it's a reversed domain uh, language is going to be Swift and we are not going to use Cocoa uh, the core data so click next uh, I'm going to save mine on uh, desktop if you want to create a Git repository on your Mac, you can tick this box as well. Actually, let's do this. Uh, click Create. And uh, we have our project here. Uh, this is the main view of our project. Uh, it shows that uh, are going to, we are going to deploy for the iOS 11. This is the target, or you can choose a different version here if you want. The theme, again, you can have your your own theme here you should have actually because uh, we are going to use some of the functions like push notifications and in-app purchases where you are required to have a apple developer license actually uh, the paid developer license not just registered with apple so if you don't have it you can skip some of the videos but uh, the rest of the class is perfectly fine just that when you try to decide to deploy your app to the App Store, you will have to buy the license anyway. So to begin with, um, let's go to our app delegate, see what we have here. Um, these are the functions that are called on uh, by default. With uh, we have we are getting here the boilerplate code. Uh, you can read the information here, what each function does and when it gets called. Then we have a standard view and if we go to our main storyboard, we have a single view here, which is, if you check here, it's connected to our view controller, view controller .swift file. So what I'm going to do is um, to delete this file, this uh, view from our storyboard. For some reason, this new Xcode doesn't really like to delete the views. No. Anyway, uh, let's delete our view from here. Just click delete, move to trash. And I'm going to try to delete the view again. No. Anyway, um, let's go. Uh, uh, we are going to do some setup for our backends. For this, I'm going to close the application now. And let's navigate to our folder, which was created by Xcode, and see what we have here. So we have a few files, and this is the Xcode project file, which uh, by clicking it will launch our project. So um, we are going to install some uh, backends. We are going to use Firebase for this one. For this, uh, we can go to Chrome or your browser, whichever you are using. Just go to console.firebase.google.com if you are not registered yet, so you can register. Or uh, if you are already registered, you can just click on new project. Uh, I'm going to create, yeah, let's, uh, let's create a new project here. My project name is going to be, let's call this app as well. And I'm going to choose a location. I'm more, all right, the app is too short. Let's call it my app. And the region, I'm going to choose Cyprus. You can choose your own. 
create a project. This will take a few seconds for uh, Firebase to set up a project for us. Actually, I'm going to go... Yeah, all right, we have our project. Let me quickly open our Xcode project because we are going to need a bundle identifier. So I'm going to my Firebase here. It says, uh, welcome to Firebase, and we are going to start. So we are building for iOS, so click on iOS. And here it says, uh, put your bundle identifier. So let's go to our project, click on the top of your uh, application name. And here we have bundle identifier. I'm going to copy this, jump back to Firebase and paste it here. App nickname, which is an optional and App Store ID is optional. We don't uh, care about this for now. So click register the app. Now it says uh, download Google Info plist file. All right, we are going to do this. Click to download it. You see, uh, I'm getting a Google Info plist and it has one in the name, which uh, I will explain you in a second because I already have a file in my download folder. All right, um, click continue. And it explains us how to install the Firebase through CocoaPods. All right, we know this. Click continue and this is the first part to set up our project in Swift and in Objective-C. Alright, uh, click finish. So this will finish our project setup and we have our Google Info plist file. So let me go back to my Xcode here and I'm navigating to my downloads folder. Let's find where is it. And here I have a Google Info plist and it's called one. So, because I have another one, let's find it. And I'm going to delete it so I can rename this file because the name of the file should be Google Info plist. If there is any other characters, numbers in it, it will not work. So, once you have make sure that the name is Google Info plist, you can drag it to your project just under the Info plist file you already have make sure it's copy items if needed and click finish without this file the firebase will not work all right now we can close our project and we don't need this file anymore and this part here the next thing we are going to install the firebase through cocoa pods so let's do this go to terminal and we are going to navigate to our project directory. So in my case, I'm going to say CD desktop. And if you write half of the word and hit tab, and if there is such file exists, file name, it will autocomplete. So I'm changing directory to desktop, hit enter. Then I need to, now I'm on my desktop. I need to move to my app. So I say change directory and call the folder name app. Now I'm inside my folder here. And if I say ls, it will show me what I have in my folder. So I have an uh, app folder, I have an app Xcode project, a test folder, and app UI test. All right, so we are in this folder. Now I am going to create a pod file. So I say pod init. And you see we created a pod file here. So uh, this pod file we are going to put inside uh, the pods required and then we're going to install the pods. So um, before you can actually create a pod file or uh, install a pod file, you need to make sure that you have a Cocoa Pods. So how you are going to check if you have Cocoa Pods? You can say pod, two dashes, and version. This shows me that I have a Cocoa Pod version 131. If for some reason you don't have a Cocoa Pods, how you can install it. You can go to the website of CocoaPods, which is cocoapods.org. And here under installation, you have a line of code here, which says sudo gem install CocoaPods. So if you pass your uh, copy and paste this line of code here, it will, uh, it will actually ask for a password because you are using a sudo command. You put your password, it takes few seconds to install the cocoa pods and then you can uh, you can work with it 
So I'm assuming you already have installed the Coco pods and you have created your pod file. You can double click on pod file here, which will open this file where we have our uh, target is our application. Then it says uh, put this mark in front of the line that you want to comment out. So this is the part we are going to put our pods. The rest underneath we are not going to use. So I have uh, use frameworks here uh, not commented out. So make sure uh, this is by default. It's It has use frameworks. So now we are going to put the pods we want to install. So I'm saying pod and then I'm going to use the Firebase database. So I say Firebase forward slash database. And I'm going to uh, keep uh, in mind that I'm using these uh, straight lines. Uh, sometimes when you are putting uh, uh, one quotation marks, it's under the angle and not straight. So if you are getting uh, under angle quotations, let me show you how to fix this. You go to your systems, keyboard, text, and here you have uh, single quotes for single quotes and you can choose which one you want. By default on Apple is this one. You can see they are under some angle and these ones are straight. So make sure you have the straight ones because otherwise the Coco pods won't work. Then uh, again, I have another pod here, which is going to be Firebase forward slash core pod again Firebase. This is also case sensitive, so make sure you are getting it correct. We need the authentication, and finally pod, and we say Firebase forward slash storage. and put the code to close it. Command S to save it and you can close this. So let's go back to our uh, terminal. If you had closed the terminal, let me show you how to proceed. Just open the terminal again, CD to your file location. So it's on my case it's desktop, then it's up and you can list to see what files you have here. So we have a pod file now. So right now I uh, can say pod install, hit enter, and this will uh, take few seconds to install the Coco pods, uh, the pods we put in our pod file. 